Now when adding livestock to a brand new aquarium, there's a couple of strategies that you might want to choose between. Strategy number one is to add the fish first. The advantage of adding the fish first is that you can very confidently run a very low salinity. You can run 0 0.018, 0 0.019, and you're not bothering anything because you don't have any corals in the aquarium yet. The other option is you can introduce your corals. Now the disadvantage of introducing your corals first is that when you add new fish, it's really a good idea to drop the salinity when you add the new fish. And your corals may not appreciate it so, so, too much. Most of the really hardy corals don't really care. But some of the more finicky ones, you may see a very adverse reaction to dropping the salinity. Now obviously if it's a large aquarium, in a perfect world you could quarantine the tank, quarantine the fish before they go into the main tank. Therefore, you've addressed any salinity concerns in the quarantine tank. But if you have a small aquarium, it's really worth making a decision. Are you gonna add the fish first? If you add the fish first, you keep the salinity low, you add some fish, you wait a month, you add some fish. Once you're happy with your fish, you then start introducing the corals. If you're brave, you could add some really hardy corals because the chances are they'll be fine in the low salinity anyway. But once again, it's a decision you can make. Otherwise, if you want the corals to be introduced first, then you've just got to be aware of the disadvantages of adding your fish to a higher salinity in regards to osmotic shock, or you need to be prepared to lower the salinity when the new fish go in. Anyway, if you have any questions on this topic, then pull them at the bottom of this video.